Yo, what's going on guys? Flip TV here, back on Madden Ultimate Team. Content's kind of dry today, so I thought I'd do my Team of the Year predictions. It's always something I like to do. Um, before we start this, I want to let you guys know that this, these are just my opinion. I don't want you guys to get mad if you think one of the players from your team should have been in. These are just my opinions, and I'm just going to try to have fun with it, make a good video for you guys, and just tell you what you guys should expect. At the quarterback for Team of the Year, I'm just going to go over offense today. I'll make another video for defense tomorrow. No doubt in my mind that Carson Wentz is going to be the team of the year quarterback, probably at a 96 or 97. I wouldn't give him this if he wouldn't have went down, but he probably was going to win MVP if he wouldn't have went down. But after going down, not playing the last two games of the year, I don't think he's in the MVP race anymore. He can't really miss two games and expect to be MVP. But I think it's down to Gurley and Brady. But I think Carson Wentz will get the card probably at 96 or 97. And if I don't think, if Wentz doesn't get it, I think Russell Wilson will. He's been having a great year. But that's who I think that will be at quarterback, at halfback. I'm going to take Gurley out of it considering he's probably going to win MVP. If not, I don't think he'll get this card. I think he'll get a better card late in the game. But I think the halfback will be Le'Veon Bell. He's been having a great year like always. He's one of the more consistent players in the league. Or I think it will be Kareem Hunt. I think he deserves it. He's had one of the best years in the league. I think he lead, he'd not. I don't know if he leads the league in rushing. He did for a while there. But first week of the year, had did great, but kind of fizzled out. But came back strong and finished good. This is his best card right now. And for most of you guys, if you guys are Saints fans, you're probably going to be like, Alvin Kamara should definitely get it. And I agree with you there, but there's no doubt in my mind Alvin Kamara is going to win Rookie of the Year, and he's going to get an honors card for that. So I wouldn't expect him to get the Team of the Year card because he's definitely going to get the... Definitely, definitely going to get Rookie of the Year honor card. Next up, at the fullback spot, this guy has been making plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know when he gets in, he's probably going to be in the end zone. Roosevelt Nix, he's just a playmaker. He gets in on the goal line within the three yard, within three yards. He's probably going to punch it in. And a couple weeks ago, he's a great, he's got great hands, and he went up and mossed a guy. No doubt in my mind that this is one of the best fullbacks in the league, and he's definitely going to get this card, in my opinion. If he doesn't, I don't know what they're thinking. Next up for wide receivers, I have three wide receivers. That's usually what they do. And it's Juju Smith-Schuster. This guy has been a problem for most teams. Has all those receptions. K returned a kick yesterday. I'm recording this on the first. But I think Juju's got an 85. I bet he'll get a 93 to 94. No doubt in my mind that he's going to get a better card. And he's probably one of the team near wide receivers. Next up, I have Antonio Brown. Another stealer. That's three already. But I think they've got one of the better lineups. Antonio Brown... Went down, but he still leads the league in regular season reception yards. He's got a 92, but I think he'll probably get a 95 to 96 like Schuster. I bet these guys will be 95 to 96 all around. And, and I think Antonio Brown will get it. He's a great player, and no question in my mind. And the last guy is a guy who, la before last year, I don't think, I, I've, ever, I've never heard of him before last year, but it's Adam Thielen. This guy has been really consistent makes big time plays he's pretty fast I honestly think this guy's gonna get a new card for team of the year no question in my mind that he can't or shouldn't he's been doing great this year here's his card now team of the week one offense I think they've been saving it because I do think they are really gonna give it to him but that's all I have for wide receivers we are on to tight ends and it is Zach Ertz this man has been making plays this year no doubt in my mind that he should get it. Now, I could argue with the Gronk, whole Gronk thing, but they usually give Gronk a really, really good card at the end of the year. If I had to split it between somebody, it'd be him and Gronk. They both have 91, so it'd be one of the two. So I think they'll get it. And at right tackle, I think it is going to be Lane Johnson. This man has been one of the best right tackles in the league for a while, in my opinion. Here's his best card. He's got the Thanksgiving Guest of Honor. But this guy, when they were playing the Broncos a while back in the season, Von Miller tried to blow right past him, and Lane Johnson basically threw a forearm and said, no way. 
and I mean blew him up it was amazing and so that's why I think he should get it not just that play but he's just been really consistent this year next up for right guard I have Zach Martin being my right guard he's really consistent he's a good player he's got to be in here he'll be here somewhere here he is always consistent Cowboys offensive line has been good but I think he deserves it over about anybody just because Cowboys run game has been pretty decent for the last couple years center we have Marquise Pouncey the fourth stealer on my list didn't really realize that but I think he's got an 83 with the whole thing with Bell he's always been there to push through I really think Pouncey deserves it I didn't realize I had this many stealers at left guard, oh, that went out of here, my bad. At left guard, we have, crap, what's his overall? Hold on. All right, Kalichi Osamele, been having a decent year. I think he deserves it, but that's just my opinion. On to left tackle David Bakhtiari. Packers run game has been great this year with um, Ty Montgomery went down. They were doing great with him. But Jamal Williams stepped up and a lot of running a test right to the line he has. And they've really been helping out and Bakhtiari's been doing great. So I thought that worked for them. That's all I've got for now, guys. This is my team of the year offense predictions. I think I'm going to wait till about 50 likes and 50, 50 views until I drop the next one. Not too many, but I think we can get to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. If I mess something up or somebody's had an injury and I haven't known about it, please let me know. But until then, guys, I'm signing out. Peace.